So with the winter time here, it's time for the snakes to go into bromation and just hibernate, relax, and get ready for the breeding season. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Man, so I'm defrosting out here. It's freezing here in South Florida right now. But um, it's, still, it's still not cool enough to bromate my snakes. So I got a wine cooler. You can check out my last video. I'll show you all the specs of the actual wine cooler. And now we're gonna put the snakes in the wine cooler. I was just waiting for some of them to shed and whatnot. So they're all ready to go. So let's go check it out. So if you guys enjoy these videos, watch to the end and I'll leave you this Cloud Colubrid logo. Just click on it and you can subscribe and I appreciate the support. So Kane is not gonna be in bromation this year. Um, as you know, corn snakes don't need to be bromated and I'm limited on space in my cooler. So him and the female, Amel, are not gonna go in the cooler. But what I did, I took them away from the heat tape so they're not gonna get that extra heat. So it's gonna be a slight change, which is still good. And let me show you Pumpkin. Pumpkin is the female. So here's Pumpkin, my female amel corn snake that's gonna go with Kane. And Pumpkin didn't have a name for quite some time. And I think she's well deserved of a name. So I'm happy with that name, Pumpkin. And um, these, these don't need bromation. It helps, but these corn snakes don't need it. And I'm limited on space in the wine cooler. So I'm gonna leave them out of the rack in these bins on the floor where it's about 10 degrees cooler. So that's definitely gonna help. Feed them small meals for three months and then put them together. And this is gonna be a really good test to compare the snakes that were put in the wine cooler to bromate versus this girl and Kane who are not gonna go into the wine cooler because they say when you bromate the snakes, it could help increase the fertility rate and the amount of eggs they produce. So we're gonna put it to the test. And when the time comes, I'll let you guys know, I'm gonna do a video on that. So this is gonna be really interesting. So here's Paprika, just came out of shed, looking beautiful as always. And I'm not gonna get in detail of all the pairings of the snakes I'm putting in bromation and breeding, but if you're interested, I'll leave you a link at the end of this video to the previous video in my breeding series, and it'll show you all of the pairings in detail, so check it out. All right, so I got the wine cooler set at 55. I already checked it every day with the temp gun and the temperature seemed to be about right fluctuating about two to three degrees but they've been pretty much on point so that's paprika first and riddler is next riddler is the pairing for paprika Followed by Gretel. And her mate, Hansel, on the next level. Now going in is Mojave, my male Tarahumara Mountain King Snake. Followed by his girl, Sahara. And she'll go right on top. So everybody's in, everyone on their own shelf. This is the perfect amount for a uh, decent airflow to go around. If I put the other two in, it would have been a little bit crammed up and I don't think the circulation of the air would have been too good. So this is a good amount. Maybe next year I'm gonna have to get a bigger wine cooler or a second wine cooler. So 
So now the final step for the cherry on top, cover it with a towel or a sheet, just so that they're in the dark. You don't want them seeing you walk around because in the wild, they would be in a nice cave under a rock and they don't want to be disturbed. So I had a couple of real nice snakes coming in to do a nice unboxing for Christmas, but everything's getting delayed because of the shipping with the holidays. So we're going to have a New Year's unboxing. All right, so the snakes are in the cooler. We're gonna leave them in there for three months. Check on them daily. Just make sure that the water is clean and we're gonna open the cooler once a day just to promote airflow. If you don't open it up at least once a day, the air could become stagnant. So you wanna give some fresh air daily just to make sure that the snakes could breathe pretty well. So for you veteran breeders, I know this is routine, but for someone like me who's breeding for the first time, I have to admit it's a little nerve wracking to put an animal into a refrigerator. You know, even though this is part of the process, it's just not something that you're used to doing. We don't normally put animals in refrigerators or anything like that. So it's a little, little nerve wracking, but at the same time, it's exciting because we're finally taking the steps to becoming a breeder and be producing some beautiful animals. So I'm really excited. And I just want to give some recognition to the old school breeders who've been doing this from the 70s, 80s, and even early 90s. Can you imagine breeding and doing all this without the internet, without any of this stuff? You can't go on your phone. We just go on our phone and Whatever we want to know, oh, we don't know it, boom, Google. Or you could watch YouTube videos, because I'm a visual person, so if I read something on a book, if I don't see it visually, sometimes it's hard to process. So can you imagine doing all that without any of these resources? Right now we have it easy, so I just wanted to give some recognition to all the old school breeders who did it without none of the technology that we have today. And I also want to give recognition to all the good breeders that helped me out along the way and all the YouTubers that posted great videos and information on how to breed and all, just how to take care of snakes in general it helped me out a lot. And without them, it would have been hard to be in a position like this. So I just wanted to say thank you to you guys as well. And that's also one of the main reasons why I make these videos. So some of the new guys in the hobby could get some valuable information so I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and just absorbing all the good information so I'm gonna keep making videos all the way up until the snakes are hatching out of the eggs the whole process I'm gonna keep giving you updated videos and if that's something you're interested in I'm gonna keep it in my playlist called breeding snake series so just keep in mind if you want to check that out you go to my playlist and that's where it'll be so if you guys didn't know, besides colubrids, I really like boas. I have a rainbow boa female, and I don't really have space to house a lot of boas and stuff like that. But if you are interested in boas and pythons, check out Ben from Cincinnati. Just want to give him a shout out, real nice guy. I always watch his videos, and he's really entertaining, and he has a lot of boas. He has a couple of Burmese pythons, ball pythons, even some kink snakes, so check him out. All right guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. This is one of the quicker videos that I've done. So if you guys like music, you like snakes, keep watching. I'll give you some nice music with some snakes towards the ending of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a happy holidays and stay tuned because I got more good videos coming.